Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video on Oblivion, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about effective magic skill leveling, because I think magic is something that, you know, if you want to make a max level character, or a character that's just effective in something, you know, you need magic with your character, right? Even if you make a full-blown warrior, you still have a magic bar that you don't want to make idle, you know, even if it's just healing yourself. So today we're going to talk about effective magic leveling. And the sponsor of today's video is all of you guys at Steam It. Help it support the channel by upvoting my stuff and, you know, giving me that little extra boost of money that I'm going to need real soon. Anyways, so there are three attributes that actually have magic in them. You have intelligence, willpower, and personality. Personality has illusion, intelligence has alchemy, conjuration, and mysticism, and willpower has alteration, destruction, and restoration. And I'm going to say this, normally a character with, um, normally a character is going to have their willpower leveled up a lot more because restoration, destruction, and alteration are, you know, those kind of main skills, main magic skills, you know. Usually they have alteration with feather, destruction with fire, and restoration with healing. Now, when you make a character in Oblivion, you have to pick major skills. Okay, this is very important. Do not pick all seven magic skills, okay? The reason why is you have to level up, let's just say intelligence. If you level up any combination of skills from intelligence 10 times, when you go to sleep and level up, you get five plus in intelligence if you select intelligence. Now let's just say um, I level up, I put Conjuration as a major skill and I level it up 10 times. That means that not only is intelligence gonna be a five plus, but I leveled up a major skill 10 times. So that means I actually get to level up. And this makes it so, you know, I get to pick three attributes to increase. The only attribute that's really going to increase a lot is intelligence. So, how do you fix this, is really the question. Well, pick uh, maybe two, maybe just don't pick any magic skills, okay? Pick controllable skills that you can level up, such as sneak. Um, sneak, armor, blade, blunt, you know. You can get a combination, basically, what I would do is if I wanted to make a high-level magic character, I would pick, I would pick Sneak, Armorer, Blade, Blunt, Block, Heavy Armor, and either Marksman, Light Armor, or Hand to Hand. Now, this is gonna create a problem if you do it the way that I just did it, where you're gonna have high magic, but you're not gonna have a lot of physical, you know, skills because you're not leveling up. So maybe if you really want that max level character, pick a good mix of skills. So anyways, with that being said, how do we effectively level up a character? Well, we gotta level up a major skill 10 times to level up, but in total, we can level up our skills 30 times and get the max attribute bonuses because willpower and intelligence, if I level up 10 intelligence skills or 10, intelligence, or a skill in intelligence 10 times, and a skill in willpower 10 times, and then I do illusion 10 times, that means if I level up, I get five plus personality, five plus intelligence, five plus willpower. So what you're gonna do is before you level up every single time, you do, uh, you level up intelligence, a skill in intelligence 10 times. Then you level up a skill in willpower 10 times. And then you level up your illusion 10 times. You can actually make illusion the skill that levels you up, you know, make it a major skill so that you, know, you have complete control. If you're just using magic, it's really easy to have control over how much you level up, right? Alteration, for example, with the protect spell, I can just cast that thing over and over and over again until I level alteration up 10 times. Alchemy is a bit harder, but Conjuration, I'll cast a Conjuration spell 10 times, my intelligence is up. An Illusion, I just go up to someone and touch them and fondle them 10 times. And then, boom, I got my level ups done. And, you know, you're gonna have high intelligence, high willpower, dude, your, your skill, your magic's gonna be insane. Now, you can also do this, if you use this method, this should be part of your max level method, which I will link to the efficient leveling in the cards. Um, so, 
really, if you want max magic, don't, don't make all seven skills magic, please. You're gonna have a horrible time leveling up magic. And don't use a major skill until you wanna level up. That's the important part. Because if you accidentally level up early, you're gonna have to live with the consequences. And when you level up, you're not gonna get all those five plus bonuses to your attribute. You're really only gonna get maybe a five, a three, and a two, you know, who knows? Maybe a five, a four, and a one, which would suck. So that's it. And if you want a little bit extra leveling, like just a level, not necessarily more intelligence and willpower and stuff, then pick a character with low magic skills, like an orc because then you'll have more area to level up your magic skills, but that, that really doesn't matter. Just, you know, as long as you do this 10 skill level ups from intelligence, 10 skill level ups from willpower, and 10 skill level ups from personality, you're good to go. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more Oblivion videos, and I will see you guys in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Steam it post of whatever I decide to make.